This sweatshirt went through a dozen laundry cycles since winter 2023. Paint didn't crack, fade away or became sticky. If you also want such quality results, the link to this masterclass is under this video. And today we'll talk about the basics. I'll share with you the steps of painting on clothes and you can observe the demo uh, of how I create this cute winter design. I've got here a cotton sweatshirt and acrylic paints that are specific for fabric painting. The first step would be to wash the clothes. If you got a brand new item, uh, remove the factory softeners or at least to wash away the dirt left after the time when other people were trying this garment on, for example, face foundation stains or cat hairs or even shelf dust. Trace the image or sketch it. Use a tracing paper or disappearing marker as I've shown in previous videos and in one of the lessons of foundations course. I'll leave all the useful links below in the video description. You can start by applying a white base coat or make an underpainting directly with the paint of the color you need. We do not need to use any kind of gesso or acrylic primer when painting on fabric. No brand of fabric paints that I'm aware of produces a primer, so we simply use a white fabric paint for this purpose or the colorful one depending on the design idea. Work the paint into textile fibers thoroughly even if it's your base coat. This will make sure uh, quality coverage and a minimum risk of paint cracking later. By the way, if you've heard of or experienced stickiness of paint on a finished design, thick uh, paint layers are also usually the reason of this problem. Here is a word about the tools. I use only synthetic paint brushes. The purpose of acrylic paint is to ruin the brush and uh, plus a constant rubbing on textile surface cuts the life of the brush in half comparing with the time when you're using the same tool on paper. That's why I'm using mostly inexpensive brushes of a decent quality, which could be changed without a hit to the budget. Try spreading the paint evenly without leaving a sort of a relief trace of uh, paint on fabric. The thinner your layers of paint will be, the softer will be the finished result. Let each paint layer become touch dry before applying the next one or even adding small details. Finished design on clothes or any other textile product doesn't need any finisher or sealer. Let your painting remain flat where you worked on it or gently transfer it to another flat surface without removing the protective board from the inside. It'll take up to uh, four hours for your design to become completely safe to touch. One of the most important steps is the last one. Not earlier than 24 hours, heat set your painting using an iron. It's a simple but highly important task if you want your artwork to stay put on fabric for a long time. I give a lot of tips for success with this last step in this video. Make sure to take notes. And this sums it up. Oh, wait, since you've reached the end, here is a bonus tip. Give some time to your design to rest and bond with the fabric before first wash. Ideally about a week or at least four days. Cold water wash with regular detergent, no fabric softener and preferably no hot air dryer uh, will help the painting to stay in its original shape and colors. Beginner or experienced fabric artist, I hope you've picked up something useful here today. You're welcome to subscribe to my content or share it with friends. I also offer free lessons on fabricpaintingcoach.com for aspiring clothes customizers. If it's you, Come by and say hi. Thanks for today. Bye-bye.